On board lube oil test viscosity determination the simplest method is 3 tube rolling ball viscometer assuming the oil in the engine to be SAE 30 grade. One tube is filled with minimum safety viscosity, about SAE 20, and another one filled with maximum safety viscosity, about SAE 40. The last tube is to be filled with test sample. All tubes are placed in a bucket of warm water until the oils are at the same temperature. The three tubes then mounted on a tilted board and inverted. An internal hollow ball in each tube then rises to the surface. If the time taken in the test sample is between that of the lower and upper limit oils, the oil is fit for further use. If not, it must be replaced. In soluble content a drop of sample oil is released from a given height onto a special filter paper. Compare this ult with the known varying insoluble content. The upper limit for straight mineral oil is 1% to 1.5% and for detergent dispersant oil is 5%. Water and other contaminants a known amount of sample oil in the test tube is heated and must be shaken the while doing so. If there is no cracking, the oil is dry. If there is slightly cracking, the oil having a trace of water. If there is a heavily crackling, the oil is heavily diluted with water. Acidity alkalinity determination acidity is tested by extracting the acids from the sample by means of shaking with a noun amount of distilled water. The acidic extract is then placed on a watch glass with an indicator solution of known strength. The mixture is then drawn up into a glass tube and its color compared with a series of color standards, each representing a known pH value, from which the sample can be determined quite accurately another method is. A drop of indicator solution is placed onto blotting paper and this is followed by a drop of sample oil placed at the center of the drop of previous absorbed indicator. If the change of color is red, it indicates sample acid. If blue-green, it indicates sample alkaline. If yellow-green, it indicates sample is neutral. Foreign particles test this can be done by either spectrochemical analysis or ferrographic analysis, each giving particle size less than 10 um to 100 micrometer range depending on the test supplied. The most powerful technique is inductively coupled plasma atomic emission spectrometry, ICPORPES, which uses a direct spray technique to determine the wear and contaminant elements present in the oil. This technique will in the main only detect the particles below 10 um size. In ferrographic test, the sample is thinned first with some solvents and allowed to pass slowly down a slide surrounded by powerful magnetic field then it is examined by special microscope with red and green filters under lights. The shape of the particles is used to identify the source of the wear debris. The advanced ferrography method was added to the PFA. Progressive fast analysis program where all samples pass through the combination of two machines, a particle quantifier, PQ, and a rotary particle depositor, RPD. These test measures the induced magnetic moment of debris as deposited on a substrate or contained within a specific volume of liquid. These machines provide accurate tests by rotating the metal particles and then separating into three different sizes. These three bands of particles are examined by very powerful microscope to determine the type of materials and shape. If more detailed examination is necessary, the debris may be subjected to a scanning electron microscope. Shore test. Ferrography method. Presence of tin, lead, bronze, copper and aluminium. From. Bush and bearings. Presence of chromium. Piston rings. Iron moving parts. Vanadium. Fuel oil. Sodium. Fuel oil and sea water, manganese, valve and gears, silicon, fuel oil additives and dirt, presence of silver from, bearings, contamination limits, specific gravity change, 5%, contamination fuel oil 0.5%, contamination of water 0.2%, carbon content 1%, Total acid number changes. If lube oil is contaminated with seawater, when some oil is contaminated with SW, find sources of leakage. Maybe from lube oil cooler during main engine stock, stoppage and rectified, in port or while main engine is stopped. Transfer contaminated oil through purifier or transfer pump into renovating tank. Settled for at least 24 hours at about 60 degrees Celsius, and water and sludge drained out periodically. Oil passed through purifier at 78 degrees Celsius with optimum efficiency, and pumped back to renovating tank. When some tank is empty, interior cleaned and examined. Purified oil sent to laboratory and tested. During this time, new oil should be used. 
Oil should be reused. If lab results recommended that it is fit for further use, straight mineral oil, 3% water washed, additive oil 1% water washed, courses, condensation of water vapor within the crankcase, leakage from the cooling water system for cylinder or piston, leakage from the sump tank heating steam pulse, effects, reduce cooling efficiency, increase the acid formation in trunk type piston engine, can cause corrosion on MC parts, microbial degradation, reduce load carrying capacity, reduce lube oil properties, and TBN of oil, form sludge due to emulsification, remedies, proper purification with minimum throughput, batch purification if heavy contamination, maximum allowable percent of water in lube oil for crosshead engine, 0.2% is satisfactory if water content exceeds 0.5 to 1.0%, immediate action should be taken if, 1%, engine can be damaged for trunk type engine, 0.1% is satisfactory if, 0.5%. Immediate action should be taken and it is maximum permissible content fuel dilution in lube oil courses poor atomization of a fuel injector and back leak through the fuel injector pump plunger and barrel. Effects. Fuel dilution usually diesel oil. Lower viscosity and low fresh point. Lower viscosity lube oil reduces this properties. For example load carrying capacity. Lower fresh point will case crankcase explosion. How to remove contaminants. Filtering, removed large oil in soluble matter, gravity separation, heavy matters, sludge and water, adding special additives, reduce acids, sludge, finer oil in soluble matter, centrifuging, sludge, foreign matter and water, water washing, only for straight mineral oil or oil without additives, can remove acids, why magnetic fitter is fitted on lube oil system. Where fitted, to prevent pump damage due to ferrous metal particles. Screw PP used in lube oil oil system is working in very fine clearance thus to prevent entering the small ferrous particles into the pump. Magnetic fitter is fitted, prior to the main circulation lube oil pump. Explain the lube oil sampling procedure to send for lube oil test. The sample should be drawn with oil circulation with the system such as a test cock on fedishage side of the lube oil pump before taking the sample oil sufficient amount of oil should be drained out to clear the line the sample is filled into the chemically cleaned container after it is rinsed with the sample oil and immediately closed the container should be attached. Engine type. Engine running hours. Lube running hours. Fuel used. Draw off point and date. Sampling procedure draw samples from a connection that comes directly out of the main oil supply line to theme beam. Always sample for the same point. Sample only when the oil is up to its operating temperature if the engine running depending upon the draw off point. Sufficient amount of oil should be drained out of the line prior to drawing the sample. The sample should be filled into a chemically clean container after it is rinsed with sample oil and immediately closed. The container should be attached with a label as follows. Comma records for sample. Date of sample drawn. Point of sample drawn. Type of oil. Type of machinery use. Temperature of sample drawn. The period of time since the last renewal of oils avoid sampling form places where the oil may be stagnant or have little or no flow, such as sumps, auxiliary smaller pipelines, purifier suction or discharge lines, drain cocks of filters, coolers.